Hello friends, welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about uh, different types of Excel referencing. You all know about uh, the referencing concept in Excel. So this is your address, uh, uh, say referencing uh, uh, box. So what it says is you are in the column G and in the row 7, 7th row G column. So this is a concept of referencing. You all know about it. But today what I'm going to talk about is the different ways, different types of referencing in Excel. So suppose if you want to calculate a total of all the three subjects, what you do, you just say simply sum of this range. All right? This is very simple and you all know about it. Center, right? And drag this, the formula will be copied. Right? Okay, this is referencing. So what today I'm going to show you is the types of referencing. So there are three types of referencing in Excel, namely relative referencing, absolute referencing and mixed referencing. Okay, let's see each one of them. First see the relative referencing. So what I just did is a relative referencing. What it means is, okay, uh, I just type the formula in one cell that is C sum of C5 to E5 okay after that I just dragged it right okay automatically the formula changed to the uh, subsequent column and rows so this this is how it happened it happened by means of relative referencing okay so you will understand more I mean you will understand the difference between these three when we see the other two okay let's move on to the next type of referencing that is absolute referencing right okay here okay uh, let's take an example of uh, grace marks okay okay you have to give five grace marks to every student not for each subject but for every student how do you do that okay you just simply add this 5 to the formula right so if you say drag this it won't change only the first row will change why because I'm referencing this if you see the next it will not because it's relative referencing how do you solve this issue maybe you can you will type 5, 5, 5 everywhere. That is wrong because 5 is constant. You have to give same marks to all the students, right? So how do you do that? Okay, here you have to use the absolute referencing. How do you do that? Absolute references is nothing but don't move either column or row. Stay constant. So how do you do that? So highlight, go to this uh, reference and say F4, function F4, right. So this is called absolute referencing. What it says, $H, $5, okay. Wherever you drop, don't move $5, $H, $5, stay as it is. So let's drag it, okay, okay, got changed, right. So let's see what exactly the formula here, right? Okay, this is still $H, $5. So this is absolute referencing. Wherever you go, wherever you move, the absolute reference will be same, okay? So what is the next type? The mixed referencing. You might have already got to know what exactly it is. Okay, in mixed referencing, what you do, you don't put the dollar for both column and row. You either put the dollar before column or before row. So, okay, I will add one more grace like 10 here, grace 2, okay. So, in this case okay uh, 
okay some new column will add okay so if I drag this it should move to 10 but if I drag down it should not move all right okay what I'll do I will add one more uh, class okay I will add this only okay so this is Chris 5 okay so here in the formula don't move the row just move the column so this is five fifth is the row h is column so i will put h i mean i'll put dollar before five that means don't move down but you can move right okay so if say drag right okay so again see it got moved here so here also you can use the mixed referencing all right here don't move the column but you can move row okay if I drag this it should be the sum of these five plus ten marks okay right so let's see the formula okay it's still referencing column c to f plus i5 not h because i have used uh mixed referencing for column i right so this is called mixed referencing okay so still it is referencing c to e plus i so this is called mixed referencing hope you have understood this and thanks for watching see you next time